Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to import data from Excel um, into Vienna Advantage and for doing so it is important to first of all have the Excel import um, module from the market and um, if you uh, you can go into the market and search for that module Okay, so here is basically the Excel data import utility that you require to install before starting an Excel import. All right, so let's uh, get started. Um, I have prepared an example uh, in which I'm going to import data into the lead window. So I have a number of leads in an Excel file and I would like to bring those leads into the system and uh, start working with these leads. Uh, in this video, I have also uh, set up a small workflow so that after the lead import, that workflow will be triggered automatically. Um, so once you install the um, Excel import utility uh, on the left side of a window, uh, at the bottom here, you will see an icon called import. So that is basically uh, the utility to import data into Excel, uh, from Excel into VN Advantage, by the way. Um, in every window you can see that that means you can import um, data into any window from an excel file and for doing so let's start so you click on the import icon and you see on the left side that the window that we have here is automatically selected and um, here basically on the left side there is the excel area and on the right side there is the window you can also see uh, if there are any other tabs in that window here in this case there is only one tab so uh, all the fields of that tab are listed here um, so for um, starting the Excel import the first thing that you need to do is you need to map the Excel columns to the uh, window and fields and for that you basically um, create a mapping so we let's give it a name uh, it's called lead import and and then after that you basically select that lead import and open the excel file so here i have the excel file and um, this uh, system reads the excel sheet and uh, automatically recognizes the the name of the columns here um, so uh, now what we would do is that we will actually start mapping these uh, fields to the fields here on the right side which are the fields on the um, on the lead window so here we have a name and we'll map it to the name then we have the email ID and let's map it to the email ID then we have a comment Let's put the comment into the field description. All right. Then we have a phone number, and that is here. Okay, we have a contact person. Uh, contact person can be okay, contact name. All right, the company. We can map to the company name. Okay, and there is a lead rating. Um, so let's map this lead rating to the field lead rating. Okay, um, if you look at your right and in the, in the right here, um, you see that there are certain fields uh, marked with the star. Okay, star basically means that this is a mandatory field. And uh, on the left side, we don't have that field, so uh, but uh, you don't need to worry. Actually, what you can do is you can uh, map that field uh, to a default value here. So, for example, I can say active, and active is a checkbox, so it automatically recognizes the type of the field. And I can set a value here, for example, as a true value, and set this value as default for the import. So if you go to the default values, you will see that uh, the field active is set to be true. Okay, so like this, you can go ahead and map the other um, um, fields. Now there is one uh, thing which you don't need to map, though it's a star. This is the lead ID. 
this is the uh, ID number of that record which we are importing and in fact um, when you import this uh, system will automatically give it an ID so you don't need to worry about this ID field so anything with an underscore ID at the end you won't need to map as such um, all right so and um, then uh, let's uh, start maybe uh, we should give it another give another um, um, default here so let's see what we have here there is a campaign so let's say that um, all the data which is coming here is from is coming from the campaign called exhibition so and that also is set as default all right so we can save that mapping here first of all so um, it is stored uh, for the next import in case we would like to import that once again and then we can first of all click on this button to simulate the import so um, yeah it has it is importing so there is no no problem there's no error on every record and when we click this um, checkbox on and then import the data will be actually imported okay um, before I do so let's have a look at the at the leads um, and in that you can actually see that we have a name email comment phone contact person company and in one of the records we have also a lead rating which is uh, hot on the rest there is no uh, lead rating set all right so uh, let's start the import then all right now the data has been imported so uh, let's go out of this utility and go back to the window here we are so I need to refresh the window and after doing so the data will be reloaded and you can see that the data has been imported here uh, all right now let's have a look at the records uh, in detail okay um, if you look at this this record uh, when we import it, we didn't set any document number, okay, uh, in that. So the system automatically generated a document number that is a running number. So um, the system basically uh, automatically generates that. And um, another thing is that uh, we haven't basically um, we have set in in the in the Excel um, the name and the phone number and other things. And uh, we haven't set the sales representative here. Okay. Uh, now what I have done is actually I have set the sales representative as well as the source of the lead. Okay. Uh, through a workflow. Okay. And um, now what the system does is actually that the system actually runs the um, the workflow after uh, importing the data and if there is any condition or any trigger in the workflow for doing any action it performs that action now through that basically uh, the sales representative has automatically been set and the source of the lead has automatically been set and um, another thing which has happened is actually that um, um, I have actually let's uh, open that workflow All right, this is basically the, the workflow that I have set before. And here, basically, the lead assignment workflow. And I have multiple leads, uh, multiple nodes here. And uh, as you can see that uh, we basically assign the source in one of the nodes and we assign the user in one of the nodes. And you can see another node here where basically we uh, notify the user about a lead. And that happens basically in the condition that we have a lead with the uh, with the lead rating hot. So in that basically I have set that parameter that the lead rating should be hot. Then only the user will be notified. And uh, in that case, a mail, email should have gone to the user for um, yeah for informing him about the hot lead so basically this is the one so I have set that mail template and uh, the email has been has been shot basically 
automatically to inform the user about this lead um, yeah basically that's also uh, what we learn is that you can import data into any window from Excel from VN Advantage and uh, you can set workflows to trigger certain actions automatically and or to, uh, to trigger a workflow or, or a business process based on the Excel import automatically this is very handy for example if you have uh, any type of data which is coming from outside and you would like to start performing actions based on that data in the system um, this was the, the simple um, Excel import. Uh, it is also possible to import data at the same time in multiple tabs and um, that uh, we will show you in another video. Thanks for watching.